How do you do, campers? Welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Campsites in New South Wales. Mate, before we get right into the show, for all you new viewers, my name's Peter and I'm travelling around Australia road testing campsites. Now, just a quick reminder to turn the notifications on, and guys, if you haven't done it already, hit that red button. And at the end of the video, if you can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, preferably thumbs up. Right, uh, we're in New South Wales at the moment, a place called Tennerfield. It's around 17 kilometres away from the Queensland border going south. Look, it's a not too bad little town here. I found this caravan park called Craig's Caravan Park. Now, I looked at it and I went, this is a quirky little caravan park. Let's have a look. It's not too bad priced as well. Look, they don't have many uh, non-powered sites. They've got all powered sites and they've got a couple of little cabins. Now, we also might be going around to the train museum around here that all you train buffs, you'll probably love it. So we'll get to see that throughout the show and hopefully I get chance, you can't see it at the moment, but there's a lookout up there which I want to show you guys as well. Look, let's not waste time. Let's get in the caravan park and have a look. Righto guys, when you turn up, make sure you go to the right place. It's right next to the Liberty Station. So pull around the corner, don't pull on the rain road because there's not much room to pull over. Now if you've got a small van, you might get away with it. But if you've got a large caravan, you need to go up to the Liberty Station, turn left, go down to the caravan site, stop, go see Jackie and Bob's your uncle, you've got a site. All right, let's keep going. The camp kitchen. Wow, guys, it's not really a camp kitchen. It's a free Barbie plate that you can use undercover, lighting, the whole lot, and even a little bit of a picnic table that you can sit and eat your meal. If you've got a powered site, you probably use your own Barbie. But if you don't, look, free gas barbecues. There is water right nearby if you need it to wash your dishes and stuff like that. No worries. Let's keep going with the park. Yeah, guys, the laundromat. Now, they do have a laundromat here. It's not a huge laundromat. It has got a little bit of a library that you can actually borrow a book, read it, put it back, do what you need to do. Now, they've got, they've got two wash machines. One's out of order, but they are a large wash machine. They are a 10 kilo, and the average price is $4. But sorry, guys, seeing our New South Wales now, it's a little bit more expensive. It's $5. Now, they've got a dryer up there. It works on dollar coins. You put a dollar in, you get 20 minutes drying time, which is not too bad. The place I was up at Brisbane, I was getting seven minutes for one dollar. So look, it is cheap dry here, which is pretty good. No worries, let's have a look at the toilets. What do you reckon? Radio, the lavatories, toilets, shit houses, bog house, whatever you want to call them, guys. It is the amenities. Now look, the amenities are an old school sort of amenities. They are clean, they've got hand sanitizer, paper towel, they've got the lot in there. They've got a, even got a wheelchair access toilet and shower, which I think's a bonus. Look, they've only got two toilets and a couple of showers, but they're pretty well maintained, you know? Look, they are old school. Look, out of five, yeah, three and a half for sure. For sure three and a half. It's a, it's a good three and a half. Now guys, here's one of the power sites they have. They've got them stringed out all over the park and you're not squeezed in here like sardines. They're pretty well spaced out. You get a full slab. Look, these ones here on this side are the large sites. The ones in the middle of the park um, are the smaller sites, but the larger ones on the outside. I haven't showed you the one I've got at the moment, but that is a long site. That can handle Look, my rig is from front to back, 12 metres, and I have got still plenty of space at the front. So all you guys with buses and stuff like that, you can fit in this caravan park. Now the water and power is right next to it. When you use water in a new town that you haven't been to before, make sure you put a filter on. Seeing our tenant field, look, I'm not gonna say it's town water, I'm gonna find out for you and, and put on the on the screen somewhere to let you know if they've got a tr water treatment plant or it's just a, the artesian shelf basin, they pump the water up and they do a, a UV filter on. And have a look at this. There's another one like mine. How cool is that? <laughs> 
Christmas. Mackenzie's Lookout. What a sight this is, mate. Seriously, it's like the site that I did a video at Boona um, up on the, near the scenic room. It's on my channel somewhere. It's called Boona Showground. Do yourself a favor, if you haven't been out there, go out there. That is a really great caravan park. But Mackenzie's Lookout. Look, it's pretty easy to get to. All you have to do is go on Mackenzie's Mountain Road, follow it, just keep following it. Look, the road on the way up here is pretty rough. Like. The beginning of the road is great, but right at the end, it's a little bit bumpy. And look, if you've got a special car, oh, I don't know about bringing it up if it's lowered, but look, and vans. Don't bring a van up here. Uh, you'll have to bring up your small car. There's not much parking up here at all, and the road is really only one lane. So if a car comes towards you, you've got to move over, and it's in, you know, dirt, bush, rocks, the whole lot. You don't want to damage it. Apparently this is over a kilometre above sea level and the views up here are spectacular. Mate, you can see Tenerfield from everywhere up here. And I've got another thing I wanted to show you. It's called the oldest cork tree ever still growing in Australia. Righto guys, let's go there now. Righto guys, here we are at that cork tree I told you about. One of the oldest cork trees known and the largest in Australia at the moment. Now it was smuggled over here in Edwin Parker's tin box back in 1861. Now he brought it over here, I don't know why he brought it, he just couldn't live without his plants probably, but he bought the cork tree over here and he planted it here back then and, and it's grown ever since. So it's coming up to its birthday very shortly and look, they use the actual bark itself for the cork. The um, bark on the outside is approximately around 10 centimetres, sometimes a little bit thinner. And what they do is they harvest it and they use the cork. Actually use corks for the wines. They've used it actually back in the olden days of the shuttle, the NASA shuttle. They actually use that in the front of the actual nose of the rocket itself for insulation. So it does offer great insulation. Now the cork tree is in Wood Street. It's, if you go to the information center, they give you a bit of a, a map with a few little things circled around it. Now the cork tree, it's here, Wood Street. Do yourself a favor, come out, have a look at it. Take some pictures of it. It is huge, guys. Sorry, your call can't complete Phone reception. Guess what? Oh man, this must be an Optus run town. Now my download speed, 0.27 download. Not even enough to check your emails, right? Upload speed's pretty good, 16. Look, the phone reception out here, I'm getting three bars outside, 4G. So it's still not too bad. You can make phone calls and everything that you need to, but this tells me the nearest tower that I'm bouncing off is an Optus based tower and the download speed is terrible because you're not going to stream online, not with 0.27. And I'm just going to try it one more time. Nah, it's the same. I'm getting less now. Oh, hang on. 0.5 now. Hey, point five is huge. No, it's not. Just a quick mention, guys, before I forget, this place is dog friendly. Dogs are allowed, must be kept on a leash, and you gotta pick up after your dog, guys. No worries. It's the non-powered site. Look, it's not a huge site. It's just enough to put a small van in here. Uh, look, it's not a really a caravan area, so you need to get a power site. Righto guys, they do have gas refills here. Look, the average price is around 35 bucks and that's what you're gonna get here. Look, a 4.5 kilo is 19 bucks. Now seriously, that's pretty cheap around here. Now seeing how it's a small town, look, you're not gonna get a BCF, of course, BCF's a lot cheaper, but look at the big corporations. But it's a very small town, so look, do yourself a favor, if you need gas, fill up here, ask Jackie, she'll fill it up straight away for you. No worries guys, let's keep looking at the pub. To the crappy part of the show again, the dump site. Look, this dump site is not too bad. Look, there is a bit of gradient in the road going downwards. If your hole is in the back, you'll get everything out of your tank. Look, if it's not, uh, look, mine's on my passenger side, so I can drive straight through here and dump it off. My hose is on the upside, so I'm gonna get a little bit of crap still in there, 
But what a great little dump site, guys. Look, it is this big stainless steel lid. I've never seen one like this, so it's custom made, this one. It's not a dump easy like they normally are. Now, you lift it up, Bob's your uncle. Now, the actual hole for the actual pipe itself is not a big one, so my pipe will not fit down there. It will only fit on the outside of it. Close the lid, squish it down, but be very careful when you open it because it's all gonna rush out and the way it is, I reckon it's gonna spill everywhere. So guys, just be careful. Now they do have water here. Of course, I say in all my videos, when you come to dump sites, don't use the water to fill up your van with guys. Ooh. Mate, nah, look, I don't know if it's bore water or tap water or whatever, but I'm assuming it's the same, especially when you're in a town. Look, when you're in towns and stuff like that, that water is just not bore water. It's like the same water as everything else. Look, when you're in country country and there's nothing around, yes, bore water. But when you're in town, they're not just going to have a special tap for bore water. So look, just be careful when you use the water around here. Rightio guys, the cabins. Look, they've got a few cabins around here and you've got a double room, you've got a single room. Look, they're not too bad at all. Look, I'm pretty impressed with them at the moment, especially when the starting price is $65 and goes up. You've got your ensuite, you've got your bathroom, you've got your kitchenette on there. And some of the cabins have another room for the children to sleep in. So they're not gonna rip your hair out. How cool is that? Righto guys, Tenerfield. As a, you see the sign behind me, I'm at the Railway Museum in Railway Avenue in Tenerfield. Look, it is a great little museum. It's got a lot of things to look at. You go inside, of course. The place is run by volunteers. I'll leave all the information up on the screen now. Email address, phone numbers, everything else, even the price. But do yourself a favour, when you're in Tennant Creek, Come and see the railway, it takes you back in time. Now this tenant station was opened back in 1886 when the line was completed two years after that, which was 1888, guys. Mate, it was formed between Brisbane and Sydney were linked by the Great Northern Line and it was an important station during the war years. During its decline from the 1970s upward, the tenant railway station was preserved by the society and now is run by volunteers do yourself a favor come out it's not very far away from the main road there's plenty of parking and there's plenty of things to see and do around here guys the kids will love it right out guys i hope you liked the video if you like the video give us a thumbs up what what here's that doorbell again talk to you soon right out guys just a bit of a heads up with that new link i've put in the description of my it's a google map of all my sites that i've gone to now i've made it easy for you guys it's it's like an index now what you do if you don't know where any of these campsites are find out where you are on the map now you'll see the little red dots all around the place now all you have to do it only works on a desktop it doesn't work on a mobile phone now if you do go to those sites and you bring up one of the campsites you want to review it will not work on a mobile phone but it will work on your desktop now once you've loaded that up it brings up a google map of course and of queensland or more well, it brings up all of australia and it brings up all the little dots that i have done reviews on so if you don't know where you are and you don't know what campsites near you open it up pick the campsite that is closest to you bob's your uncle and i hope that helps you out guys no worries talk to you soon uh, that's it was a, just a bit of a mention about my Google index map guys. So look if you haven't checked it out already go down bottom the link is down there click it on there it brings up a map. I'm not going to explain too much about it but you know how it works. Right, if you like the video give us a thumbs up thumbs down totally in your hands. If you haven't done it already guys hit that notifications button so you get the latest when they come online and that little red button down the bottom it's called subscribe. Talk to you soon guys have a great weekend.